Good morning, all. Good afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. Welcome to this short video today, Move Bing Imagery in Civil 3D. So that Bing Imagery, you set that graphic geolocation. It's how you're, it's how you're drawing to a coordinate system. You get, you get this nice map. Let's say it's slightly off. Let's say you have line work you want to match it to or something. You can actually move that Bing Imagery. And so this is the process to do it. Uh, so YouTube channel, out of that software with a hack. If you like this channel, please subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more time I can devote to this project. So let's go ahead and jump into Civil 3D and let's uh, take a look at moving some Bing imagery. All right. Let's see, Civil 3D. And I'm going to be in 2023, but this is, goes way back. And so what we have here is we have a drawing, and I'm out in the state of Oregon. And so if I go into my drawing, a drawing settings here, we have a coordinate system tied to it. And so with that coordinate system created or enabled, we have this geolocation tab. So when ge coordinate system assigned, geolocation tab appears, geolocation tab indicates we can turn our map on. And when we can turn our map on, that's when we can see this Bing imagery in the background. So notice the Bing imagery, big area, lot pretty much I think it might even be the entire state of Oregon and you can notice here's our here's our marker and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this marker to our site and we're gonna align our line work with the imagery so double click on the mouse wheel to zoom extent and you can see here's my line work and you can see it's you know, slightly off with the parking lot what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna move it slightly so everything matches up nice so geolocation tab uh, edit location right here and notice changes location information of a drawing file. So right here, we're gonna grab this from map option. And notice if we zoom out here, this is the current location of that red marker we just looked at. And what we're gonna do is we are going to drop this on our site right here. So let's go ahead and you can search this by lat long. Um, I know the street next to it's Northwest Clearwater Drive in in the great state of great town of Bend, Oregon. And so we zoom in here. We can see this is Clearwater Drive right here, and this is my parking lot. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to grab a point to drop this marker on. So we're just gonna grab this and we can we'll just do this the uh by right clicking on the image and we'll say move marker here. Notice we got the red little pin there, and okay, we're good to go. So We've moved our pin from that location down to our site. Now we'll say next. We've dropped our marker there. And now we're gonna assign what point is that marker. So first thing we get is what coordinate system you wanna use. Specify a coordinate drawing system to assign to the drawing. And then notice it is recommended you select a coordinate system with an origin close to your location. So farther away um, can indicate inaccuracy. So notice mine is kind of mid middle of the list here. So uh, for you know real purposes, you might want to be grabbing one that's a little bit you know a little higher up. But all intents and purposes, we are just using the generic OR83 North Zone US foot. Next, and now it says select a point for location with the easting, northing, and elevation. So that is the easting, northing, and elevation of that marker point way up in the northern, you know, wherever that was in the state. We just moved that to the um, to this point right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to grab our line work and say this is now your location. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our, right here. We're gonna grab this point right here and boom and now it's a specified north direction angle so i'm just going to leave it at 90 that's it that can be incorrect um depending on where you are on the planet but we're just going to leave it at 90. you say enter and now our marker is here and our line work has now now the map has shifted to meet our line work that we have in our file so something's up edit location, move the location of the marker to your site, and then reassigning what that uh, point is in the world for easting, northing elevation. And so hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, definitely, definitely uh, tune in for more of these videos uh, for help with Civil 3D. Thank you for your time.